हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू केमिस्ट ऑन कम्प्लीट केमिस्ट्री सो इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड स्टडीड द स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री ऑफ क्यूमिलीन मॉलिक्यूल्स इन मच मोर डिटेल सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल हैव अ बेटर इन साइट ऑफ द लास्ट टॉपिक्स दैट वी हैड स्टडीड एंड ऑल्सो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू असाइन आर एस नॉमिन क्लेचर और एब्सोल्यूट कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन क्यूमिलीन्स सो क्यूमिलीन्स विद ऑड नंबर ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड्स वी हैड ऑलरेडी स्टीन दैट इन क्यूमिलीन्स विद ऑड नंबर ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड्स ऑल दी आइटम्स लाई इन द सेम प्लेन सो अकॉर्डिंगली अ प्लेन ऑफ सीमेंट्री और अ मॉलिकुलर प्लेन पासिस थ्रू दी एंटायर मॉलिक्यूल एंड कट्स इट इन टू टू इक्वल हाफ्स वी नो दैट वेन एवर एनी एलिमेंट ऑफ सीमेंट्री इज प्रेजेंट इन अ मॉलिक्यूल दे बिकम अ कायरल एंड लाइक वाइज द क्यूमिलीन्स विद ऑड नंबर ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड्स कैन शो जोमेट्रिकल आइसोमेरिज्म दैट इज सिस ट्रांस और ई जेड कॉन्फिग्रेशन वी विल स्टडी दिस कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन अवर कमिंग लेक्चर लेट इज नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस इन अ मच बेटर मैनर विद दिस एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी दैट इफ वी लुक एट दिस मॉलिक्यूल बाई दिस बॉयज पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू देन इट वुड लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस Since all the atoms are in one plane, you can see that this green and this red atom are hidden behind this purple and this green atom. So accordingly, a, a plane can be passing through this molecule and cutting this molecule into two equal halves. Accordingly, this cumulus with odd number of double bonds here, you can see there are three double bonds is always a chiral. Cumulus with even number of double bonds. So, in cumulins with even number of double bonds, the two terminal groups on either side of the cumulin molecule, we had already seen in the last lecture on the basis of p orbital overlap, the two groups on the left side of the molecule lie in one plane, whereas the two other groups on the right side of the molecule will lie in a plane perpendicular to the first one. So, accordingly, this type of molecules, that is, cumulins with even number of double bonds, can show chirality or they can be optically active under certain conditions so let us understand how a cumulene with even number of double bonds will look like here you can see that in this 3d model there are four pi bonds and if we look from this boy's perspective then it would look something like this imagine that this green atom is your right hand and this purple atom is your left hand and this red atom is straight in front of your head and this is again in front of your legs so accordingly when you see from this boy's perspective it would look something like this the molecule would look something like this it looks like fisher projection formula but remember it is very 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 important that this is not fisher projection formula so the rules that we had applied in the previous lecture for fisher projection formulas will not be applicable here so let us understand the condition for chirality in cumulins so here you can see this is the cumulin with even number of double bond that is two double bonds accordingly these four groups that is group a and b and group c and d will be in perpendicular planes that is group a and b in one plane and group c and d in another plane perpendicular to it so the condition for chirality in cumulins is that the groups on either side that is group a and b should not be same also the group c and d should not be same although if a and d are same or b and c are same it is okay but the groups present on the same side should not be same if they are same then a plane will pass through the molecule and then it will become a chiral let us understand this in a much better manner with the example so here you can see i have attached two hydrogen atoms or this white uh, atoms you can see which are same Uh, one is coming towards you and other is going away from you and these two are again from this boy's perspective going upwards and downwards so accordingly when you see here you can see in this molecule uh, that the when you you can place a play pass a plane through this molecule in such a way that it will cut this entire molecule into two equal halves so accordingly this molecule although having four double bonds that is even number of double bonds it will become a chiral because of the similar groups present on one side so the similar groups should not be present on one particular side 
so let us now understand the rs nomenclature rules for cumulenes so the first very very important rule is that the groups closer to the observer should get the first and the second priority and the groups away from the observer should get the third and the fourth priority on the basis of atomic numbers then the third rule remains the same that is on moving from 1 to 2 to 3 if the order is clockwise then the configuration is R whereas if the order is counterclockwise then the configuration is S. Let us understand that by this example. Here you can see this molecule having even number of double bonds with hydroxyl, hydrogen, chlorine, bromine atom, the four different atoms attached to it. Now there are two ways of looking this molecule either you can look the molecule from this boy's perspective or from this small boy's perspective. You can look it from any of the sides and uh, you will find that the configuration still remains the same. So according to the first rule that these two priorities that is the bromine and the chlorine will get the first and the second priority on the basis of atomic number. Here bromine has higher atomic number so it gets the first priority and chlorine gets the second priority. Accordingly, you can see that this hydroxyl group and the hydrogen group are away from this observer. So, hydroxyl and hydrogen, hydroxyl will get the third priority and hydrogen will get the fourth priority. So, accordingly from 1 to 2 to 3, it is anti-clockwise. So, the configuration is S. Remember, it is very important that this is not Fisher projection formula. So the rules of Fisher projection formula doesn't apply here. So let us see from this boy's perspective. Here OH and H are closer to this boy. So OH and H will get the first and second priority respectively. And accordingly uh, between Cl and bromine the chlorine will get the fourth priority and the bromine will get the third priority again on moving from 1 to 2 to 3 it is anti-clockwise so the configuration is S so you can look the cumulene molecule from any side and you will find that the configuration remains the same so there is a beautiful trick to solve this problem in a much faster manner uh, while solving questions for competitive examinations. So what you have to do is, the group present at the wedge bond, you have to put on the vertical bond at the top and the group which is present on the dash bond that you have to put on the vertical bond at the bottom. Accordingly, then you have to rotate the molecule in such a way that the wedge and the dash bonds come down and then you have to assign priority to the vertical bonds that is the first and the second priority and the groups present on the horizontal bond as the third and the fourth priority and then you can check accordingly whether it is R or S. Let us understand that in much detail with the help of this example. Here you can see I have done a change that sometimes in the place of double bond you can see this cyclohexane cyclo kind of molecules here it is cyclobutane so you can see that four different groups are attached to it and uh, accordingly they are all in different plane so here you can see that iodine is coming towards you chlorine going away from you and uh, this way and then you have to rotate this molecule in such a way that these two groups that is wedge dash groups come below like this so here you can see in this example the group on the wedge is iodine i have placed on the vertical bond above and the group chlorine that is on the dash bond i have placed below on the vertical bond and also you can see when you rotate the molecule the bromine bromine comes on the left so accordingly i have placed bromine here and fluorine here so accordingly on moving from 1 to 2 to 3 it is clockwise so the configuration is R so in this way we can solve the exam questions very much faster and you can use any of the methods the very classic method and this trick method the aim of uh, the today's lecture is that you must be able to solve any of the questions that are given to you uh, in any of the exams so thank you so much. In the coming lectures, we will post previous year questions